Hi, my name is Blondie Bites, and today we are going to create an Alexa skill. And so what is an Alexa skill? Well, basically, it's just like an iPad app or an iPhone app. You download it from a given app store, and then you'll be able to use it on your Amazon Echo. And so you download the skill, then you have it, and you can use it on the Echo. And so that's what we're going to create today. And there are three parts to an Amazon Alexa skill, I guess you could call it. And the first part are sample utterances. And these are the things you're going to say to your Echo. So, you know, you say, Alexa, what's the weather? Or Alexa, what time is it? All of these are utterances. And it's what you're going to say to the, you know, Alexa, the Echo, in order to start your skill, get information for your skill. That's how you interact. That's your interaction with the Echo. You say stuff. And so the second part of making our Amazon Echo skill is going to be mapping these utterances to intents. And so I can say a bunch of things to my Echo. I could say hi, I could say hello, I could say hey. And all three of these are gonna mean the same thing. And so if I say hi, hello, hey to my Echo, no matter which one of those things I say, I should get the same response back from the Echo. So if I say hi, you know, uh, the echo might say hi back to me. If I say hello, it'll also say hi back to me. And same if I said hey. Like that response is going to be the same. And so when that happens, all three of those utterances should be mapped to the same intent. And so that's the second part is creating our intents. And then the third part is figuring out what we do once we get an intent. And so the user says something, we map it to an intent, and then we have to figure out in the third part what do we do based on the fact that the user called with this intent? So they called to see what the weather is, then in this third part, we'll write the code to go ahead and figure out what the weather is going to be. So that's kind of like the three parts of creating a skill. And in this tutorial, we will be creating a skill that tells us the facts about Santa's reindeer. And so Santa has a bunch of reindeer, you know, Prancer, Dasher, Rudolph, all of these reindeer. And the user is going to be able to say, you know, start reindeer facts to start the skill. And then the user will be able to say, you know, a single reindeer, say Rudolph. And then we'll go ahead and look up details about that reindeer and then return those back to the user and have the echo say them. And so say, you know, Rudolph has a bright nose. And so, you know, the user might be like, tell me more about Rudolph. And the Alexa will send back, Rudolph has a bright nose. And so for this tutorial, we are actually going to be getting our data from this site. And I'll put this link in the description. But basically, it has a bunch of details about Santa and his reindeer and their personality traits and skills. And so this is kind of where our information for the skill is coming from. But now let's go ahead and start creating it. And so the first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and create a developer account. So we'll go... Amazon developer or developer.amazon.com home. And so this will redirect you to a sign in. I'll also put the, you know, this link that I just went to in the description down below, but this is where we are going to create those first two parts of our skill. And so this tutorial is going to be broken up into two parts. One, we are going to do the intents and the sample utterances. And then in the second part, we are going to do all of the code that we need to run in order for our skill to work, if that makes sense. So the first part, this tutorial, will be focused on kind of the user interface. And then the second part of the tutorial will be focused on what we do kind of on the code side in order to get what the user wants, if that makes sense. And so we'll go ahead and sign in here. And we'll be brought to our developer.amazon.com slash home. And this is our, you know, developer homepage here. And it's where we're going to do our user interface or what, you know, the user is going to say, what it's going to map to, all of that good stuff. And so we'll go ahead and go to Alexa here, this little tab. And again, you're signing in for all of these accounts that we're going to, you know, sign into. We're going to do another portion of this where we'll sign in again. You're just using your Amazon account, so you don't need to create a new account unless you haven't used Amazon before. So if you've ever ordered something on Amazon, you can sign in with that account to the developer console, you know, all this good stuff. And we're going to go ahead and click Alexa Skills Kit, and we're going to add a new skill because that's what we're doing. We're creating the skill, and this is just a bunch of information that we are going to fill out in order for our skill to work. 
And so our skill is going to be called reindeer facts, just the name of the skill. And then we are also going to have that be the invocation name. And so what the invocation name is, is basically whenever I try to start the skill, what do I say? So I'll say in this case, start reindeer facts. But I could also say, you know, if I didn't have that, I could say start facts. And because that's the invocation name, that's how the user starts the skill with their voice. And then the actual name of the skill is going to be how it's displayed on the Alexa app store. So we'll go ahead and click next. And here, this is where we're going to be spending the majority of our time today. We have the intent schema and we have the sample utterances. And these are the two things I was talking about earlier. We have the sample utterances, what we're gonna say in order to do stuff with our skill. And then the intent schema, which is what are these utterances going to map to? And so it can be really annoying to like code it in here. So we are actually going to go to back this thing and we're gonna open up a text editor. I'm opening up Sublime because I love Sublime, but you can use whatever text editor you want. And we are just going to create a new folder. I'm making it on my desktop and I'm gonna call it, you know, practice, or I'll call it reindeer facts. Reindeer facts. We'll go ahead and create that folder. And then inside of this folder, we are gonna create another folder that is going to be speech assets. And this is kind of the user interface. That's where we're gonna store this inside of here. And this file that I'm going to be create is gonna be called intent schema dot json so we'll go ahead we have this intent schema and it's going to hold all of our intents so what do we want to do in the skill well we're going to have an intense array so just doing this syntax here and then each item inside of this array is going to be an intent and each intent is going to have a name maybe it will have slots and slots we'll talk about later and the name is the main thing that we're going to care about for this intent schema and so what are we gonna want this to do? Well, one, we want some kind of way to say what reindeer we wanna know facts about. We're gonna wanna say, you know, help if we don't know how to use the skill. We're gonna wanna say stop, you know, or cancel if we don't want the skill to keep going on. Um, but let's start with the hardest one first. And this is gonna be called the reindeer intent. And inside of this intent, we're gonna have a slot, which we're gonna talk more about later but we'll just code it for now and then I'll explain it. But basically what it has to do with is when we say a given reindeer's name, like we should have some kind of variable that holds that name. And so we are gonna call it the specific reindeer that we have and then the type is going to be list of reindeer. So this name reindeer is gonna have the value of Prancer, Dasher, Blixen, you know, all of these things. And it will actually be the only slot we use in this entire intent schema that we have here. And so we have this reindeer intent. And whenever we say, you know, tell me about Prancer, tell me about Rudolph, or I want to know about Rudolph, this is the intent that we are going to map that utterance to. And so we're also going to have some other intents in here. We are going to have a intent that is going to be an Amazon.yes intent. Dot yes intent and we'll go more into these later but basically they allow you to be like okay if the person says yes yeah sure all of those things we're going to map them to the yes intent and then we're also going to have a no intent so that'll be an amazon dot no intent and the reason they have amazon in the beginning of them is because the utterances yes yeah sure or no don't so, you know, all of those things, whatever no translates to, um, all of those things, those utterances are already programmed into the echo or they're already in the cloud. And so we don't have to make those utterances, but we can always add on to them. So for our reindeer intent, we're going to have to make the utterances that map up to this intent. But for the yes and no, there are already utterances that have been created. But here we're just saying we want to use that intent and we intend to have a yes or no part to our reindeer skill. And so when will we be saying yes or no? Well, let's say, you know, the user says Prancer, we call the reindeer intent. 
And then when we call this reindeer intent, Alexa says, you know, Prancer, these are the facts. Do you want to hear about more reindeer? Then the user could say yes or no. And in these cases, these types of things will be, you know, called. And then we'll do different things based on whether the user says yes or no. So that's why those are there. And then we're also going to have an intent that's going to be our Amazon.help intent. So if the user doesn't know how to use the skill, then they can just say help and we'll tell them how to use the skill. And again, with the Amazon in front, most of the utterances have already been created and are already mapped to this intent, which is great, but we can always add more later, which is what we're gonna end up doing. And then we're also going to have the Amazon.stop intent. So if the user wants the reindeer facts to stop, telling them about reindeer facts, they can just say stop, and then we'll exit the skill. We'll have to write the code for that, but the utterances are done for us, and then we'll have the cancel intent as well. And so those are our intents, making sure our parentheses match up here. We have this closing, and then we have this closing. So this looks pretty good. Now that we have our intents, we can go ahead and copy this right into here. Da -da -da. There we go. And we'll go ahead and move on to our slots. And so we created this slot and this is where it's really gonna make sense. We're gonna go ahead and add a slot type and notice we have type list of reindeer. So we're gonna go ahead and do list of reindeer here. And then we're gonna enter the possible values. And so reindeer can have the value of any of these reindeer over here. So let's see, we have we have Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, Blitzen, Rudolph, and Olive. And so these are the 10 reindeer that we all know and love. So we'll go ahead and save that. And then down here, we're gonna create our utterances. And so what is the user going to say to the skill? And so we'll also do this in a file right on our desktop. We are gonna call it sample utterances.txt. And this is so we have a copy that's not on the cloud that we can edit and then easily copy and paste to Amazon later. We are also gonna put it in that same folder. And so in here, the way you create an utterance, or at least make it formatted for Amazon, is you're gonna write the name of the intent that it maps to. So in this case, we'll start off with the utterances for our reindeer intents, because that's what we called it over here, reindeer intent. And so we have the reindeer intent, and we could say, you know, just the reindeer's name. And the reason that we have reindeer in handlebars here is because this value is gonna be replaced by dasher, dancer, prancer, whatever you'd like to call it. And the reason that reindeer is the name we write here is because we said name here is reindeer. And so when we put it into the other thing, it'll make more sense. And so another intent that we could write is tell me about you know, the specific reindeer. And so we'll have reindeer. And again, it's mapping to that reindeer intent, which is why we have this at the front. So tell me about Blitzen, tell me about Rudolph, tell me about Olive. Then we could also say reindeer intent, talk about, you know, Rudolph. Or we could say reindeer intent, tell me some facts about the given reindeer. So that's all we're gonna do for the reindeer intent for now, but you can always add more utterances, more things the user could say to invoke this reindeer intent. Um, we are also going to add on to the amazon.help intent, and this is a way for the user to get help about what the skill does. And so we could have the user say, tell me those reindeer names again, amazon.help intent, tell, me the reindeer names and then amazon.help intent. What are the reindeer names again? Notice we do not have any punctuation in this because that's not needed. And these Amazon intents, like the utterances, most of the utterances have already been made, so we don't need to map them. So like we don't have an amazon.yes, yes. So like we don't have, you know, amazon you know, yes intent, yes, because we don't need those 
they're already built into the echo. Like this is already mapped. So it's like already included. So we don't have to write it, which is great. And that's also true for all of our other intents. And so we have yes, no, help, stop, cancel. Because we have that Amazon in front and it's already built in, it's kind of something that's given to us. But our reindeer intent was not, which is why we had to create more utterances about it. And then here we just added on to the help intent utterances and mapped more options that the user could say. And so we'll go ahead and save this and copy it over to our utterances. And so now we have these utterances over here. We'll save it. And if we don't have any syntax errors, it should be all good to go. And this may take a while for the model to be built. Usually takes about a minute or two. Ah, successfully updated the interaction model. And we could actually add one more down here if we wanted to. We could say Amazon.help intent. What are the reindeer names? So we'll go ahead and copy that. Put it back over here. Save it again. And it will go ahead and update and be ready to go for us. And so that is the majority of this video. We're gonna go ahead and go through more of these things super quick. For the configuration, this endpoint thing here, basically it's like, okay, we have the utterance, we mapped it to the intent. Now, what do we do based on the fact that it's mapped to that intent? So because we called the reindeer intent, what do we send back as the echo? Like that whole code portion is gonna be part of a different thing. We are gonna create a Lambda function, but in a later video. So we'll have this link that's gonna kind of map the user interface, so what we say and what it maps to, to what does the code do to create a response for the echo to then send back to the user. We'll discard the changes here. This is what we're gonna to use to test our skills. So once we write that other code, then we'll go ahead and test it based on the fact like, okay, I say, tell me about Prancer. Does the echo actually send me back the right response? Publishing information. This is for publishing your skill. You can fill out all this, create images, logos, all of that. And then discard, whatever. And then here's just privacy information that you can fill out. Basically saying you're not gonna do anything illegal or hurt people, stuff like that. So that is it for this video. In the next video, we are gonna write the code that takes the intent and creates a response for the echo to say back. And we will finish the skill and it's gonna be great. So I will see you next Friday for that video.